Hello there, if you want to start creating and list your stuff here into eBay by using a dropshipping supplier, you are in the right place. So let's begin. So I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description if you want to start, if you don't have an account, if you want to start selling here into eBay, you are like newbie. So let's dig into it. So once we have our account, what we want to do is to sign in. After you sign in, you want to go into my eBay and go into the selling option. This part is really important in uh, in order to start selling here into eBay. It might be a little bit annoying, but uh, I can tell you from my point of experience, it's really important to do this. So what you want to do is to go into your account and here into account, you want to go into personal information. And here into personal information, you want to fill out as much information as you can. You want to verify your email, both your email and your phone number as well. So now that we have verified our account, we can start working here into eBay. So what I want to do is to go into the sheet, CJ Dropshipping. And here, once again, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description for both platforms. So you want to create an account. It's really, really simple. Just need to provide an email on your name and your last name. So once you see something like this, you want to choose products for e-commerce platform. You can choose TikTok, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, or even Walmart, even more of them. So if you go into the eBay, here you can see a lot of options that can be sold uh, into your account. But first of all, we want to link our CJ dropshipping account into eBay in order to import the items that we wanted to list first. So what I want to do here is to go into my account, my CJs. I'm going to go into the store authorization which appears in here. I'm going to be looking eBay. So here into eBay, What's going to happen here is says you haven't authorized any store yet. So we need to authorize our eBay store in order to start selling, right? So I'm going to choose add store. And here's the store name. So what you want to do if you don't know what is the name of your store. Let's go here into my eBay. And here what I want to do is to go into my eBay. For example, here into my eBay. I'm going to hit into my selling options and here into my selling options, I have the account that appears in here. I'm going to hit into activity here. This is the name that I have available. So I want to copy this store. I'm going to go into my CJ once again. I'm going to paste this name. I'm going to hit into authorize. What I need to do is to review and grant the application access. After that, I need to agree and continue. This is uh, directly from eBay. So you want to keep your page, both eBay and CJ dropping already opened. So once you have successfully done that, we have the authorization success. So now that we have the authorization, what we want to do is to go into the home section of uh, the CJ dropshipping. I'm going to go here into my eBay, I'm going to get into summary. And here, what I want to do is to look for products that can be fitable for eBay. So I'm going to choose eBay. Here into eBay, we do have a lot of options. So depending on what kind of content that you're going to be starting to sell, is the option that we can start to sell. Let's say, for example, that just for this uh, tutorial, the purpose of this tutorial, what I'm going to be choosing is for example this uh, fashion individual earphone or actually you can look for let's say for example here the category here you're gonna hit into plus and here into plus let's say that I want to focus it only into the consumer electronics and here into the consumer electronics I do have a lot of options to use so I can choose, let's say, for example, I'm, going to be, I'm just going to be using this first one because I don't want to focus into the product. I just want to be focusing into how we can import this into our store. So what I want to do is to select this option that says add to QE. So I'm just going to be focusing into just one option. I want to hit into my CJ once again. 
or go into the directly into your QE. If you don't see that uh, yet, I'm going to be going back just for a second, hit into the QE option. And actually, I do have like more options. Um, I'm going to be closing this for a second. I'm going to be selecting this option. I'm going to be deleting this confirmed and this one as well. So I'm going to be choosing this headset of the Bluetooth speaker and hit into list now. So what's going to happen here is going to be popping up this listing section. So this one is going to be shipped from China warehouse and the store. I have a store of Shopify, but you want to focus into eBay store. So I'm going to be choosing this option. Now the listing side, you want to please make sure the total quality of the product listed does not exceed the listing limit on eBay. So what you want to do is to is to check it out here how many you have in the inventory. So as you can see, we have three thirty six thousand option. If I go here into my uh, section of selling here into eBay, what I want to look for, I'm going to hit into my eBay, I'm going to hit into selling and here into selling. What I want to find about is about how many listing I can do. For example, I can only list up to 2000 items for free every month. So I'm going to hit into learn more. So what I just need to do is to verify my account and have to be sure that I have enough items left to list on eBay. I only have zero available, but you might be having more if you have a account limit or you can increase your uh, items in here. For example, what I'm going to do here is to choose the how to increase listing quantities on eBay. So it's going to be popping up the block section where what I can do is to go into the selling option and here into the selling you want to go into the monthly limits. So what happened in my case is that I didn't have a payment me method file and for that I needed to choose a plan in order to start seeing how many listing I have available for my store. So this is the way that we can do this but in order to have more than one item to list on eBay we need to choose a specific plan so we can start uh, selling here into eBay as a dropshipping section. So that's totally up to you guys. It's going to be taking a while, but I'm going to be leaving you with that information and I'm going to be leaving you the articles of CK dropshipping so you can see the details of how you can improve your listing here into eBay. You might want to see if this is something you can do in order to don't pay absolutely for anything else before you want to list more than just one item. So hopefully guys it was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more about this eBay options. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys on the next one.